Those for the question say aye. aye. Against no. Aye. I think the ayes have it. Social media will soon be banned for under 16 year olds in Australia after a new law sets a benchmark with one of the world's toughest regulations targeting big tech. It forces tech giants from Instagram and Facebook owner Meta to TikTok to stop miners logging in or face fines of up to $32 million. We know there is widespread concern and evidence about the severe mental health impact of social media on children. We've seen a parliamentary inquiry this year heard evidence from parents of children who self-harmed due to social media bullying. Domestic media backed the ban, led by Rupert Murdoch's News Corp. I'll quickly pull it up. 16-year-old user Eni Lam acknowledges its potential harm, but says it is deeply ingrained in society and the law will force young people to more dangerous parts of the internet. With such like a clear-cut ban, um, I believe that it will only create a generation of young people who will be more technologically literate in bypassing these like wars. The ban also faced opposition from privacy advocates and some child rights groups, but 77% of the population wanted it, according to latest polls. Speaking on behalf of social media platforms, Australia's digital industry group managing director Sunita Bose said the bill was rushed through Parliament. In some ways it's cut before horse because we have the bill but we don't have guidance from the Australian government around what are the right methods that a whole host of services subject to this law will need to employ. In submissions, Google and Meta said the ban should be delayed until an age verification trial finishes, expected in mid-2025. The country will be watched as a test case, as a growing number of governments look to implement similar legislation. Today I can announce that... The ban, considered a political win for Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, could strain Australia's relationship with key ally the United States. Come here. Ex-owner Elon Musk, a central figure in President-elect Donald Trump's administration, said in a post this month it seemed a backdoor way to control access to the internet by all Australians. Australia has also made social media platforms pay media outlets royalties for sharing their content and now plans to threaten them with fines for failing to stamp out scams.